Hi guys, welcome back to Tame Mystical Mermaid Light. This is a dragon pick a card reading. So if you guys have dragon guides, if you feel called to dragons, or if you're just fascinated with dragon movies, dragon symbology, this is your reading, okay? So I want you guys to take some time to breathe deeply, to pray, to set intentions for this reading. What is it that you want to know? We're calling upon the dragons for the most purest, holy, love, and life only. Dragons who have pure intentions, dragons who dwell in the higher dimensions, the most purest, purest frequencies, the highest, most purest frequencies, okay? So light coat dragons, all right? So we're bringing them in. We want them to guide us and let us know what it is that we all need to hear at this time, all right? So who are your dragon guides and what is it that they want to say to you right now, all right? So I want you guys to intuitively pick. I'm going to be moving this camera around a bit just to give a bit better angle, okay? So I want you guys to intuitively pick and then I'm going to give you the number of which card is what. I hope that makes sense. As I said, that it was 111 on the timer. All right, we have option one, option two, option three, and option four. We have option five, option six, option seven, and option eight. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna get started. I'm going to move these over so that we can start with option one. All right. Option one, yes, yes, yes. What's going on with you guys? Who's your dragon, guys? Let's see. I'm hearing light codes, I'm hearing clear quartz, Herkimer diamond, yeah. Mm -hmm. Aquamarine, okay, we have Archangel Gabriel. Okay, let's look at all your cards. Divine blueprint, dolphin baby, express your feelings, okay. So your dragons are the Blue Ray Dragon, Blue Ray Dragon, Self Nurturing, Endurance, Intuition, Archangel Gabriel's Dragon, brings purification, self discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. You can carry Archangel Gabriel's Diamond. What's interesting about these two cards is that they're showing me the diamond on this dragon's heart and how it's also holding a dra um a diamond. I was gonna say also holding a dragon. Wow, maybe there's a dragon inside the diamond. I don't know. There's something about that gems eggs a sacred egg sacred egg merkaba bingo the merkaba sacred vehicle archangel metatron's cube so some of you guys might feel called to learn more about um metaphysics alchemy i'm hearing you guys are alchemists metaphysics higher dimensions third third eye chakra also your throat chakra but more third eye chakra okay and there's something about your heart chakra needing to open up to divine light is what I'm hearing. So we have Archangel Gabriel's dragon and Blu-ray dragon. What's interesting about these two cards is that they both have this heart opening. This dragon has its heart open. There's like a, a white light. You guys want to work with white and blue. Different shades of blue, but white. Possibly the colors gray and silver. You guys could be drawn to iridescent things right now. Like things that are kind of sparkly and shiny is what I'm hearing. Sparkly and shiny. Things that kind of have a sheen to it. They're showing me water. You know how if the sun hits water in a certain angle, sometimes it looks like it's shimmering. Like there's this light coming from it. So water is very important. Drinking a lot of water, setting intentions and praying over water before you drink it. I'm hearing spending time in natural bodies of water or in the shower or in the bathtub, whatever you can do to get close to water, to work with the water element. I'm hearing light codes. You guys are trying to receive light codes. So it's very important that you guys spend time underneath the sun in water, okay? Letting that water like touch your skin and, and also letting the sun touch your skin. That would be very helpful, okay? But water is about emotions and feelings and the fact that you have the message card, express your feelings, that's what your dragon's trying to get you to do. That correlates right along with the dragons that are giving you this message it's about it's watery it's emotional it's a message so express your feelings archangel gabriel is a messenger of god that's an archangel so you guys might feel called to work with archangels as well as 
Mm. Especially Archangel Gabriel and maybe Archangel Metatron, okay? So you guys have a connection with dragons and archangels. That's pretty deep, you guys. That's that's really deep, actually. So def so definitely you guys need to spend time. I'm seeing someone um kind of like in a meditation position, legs crossed, Indian style. Um, it, it's that energy of a light just kind of going from your crown chakra all the way throughout your Mm, they're saying all the way through the base, all the way through your spine to the base chakra, all the way down into the earth. It's like you're, you need to envision this. You need to envision this happening. You need to envision light going throughout your heart chakra. So we have a lot of chakras here that you guys want to work with. You guys could just be doing a lot of chakra work in general. Okay, so I would say meditation in nature under the sun by water is your best way of connecting more with these divine beings there's some type of message that they're trying to get to you no they're saying will give to you not trying they will give you this message so they're wanting you to be more self um self-disciplined when it comes to the way you nurture yourself the way you take care of yourself they're saying a lot of you guys need to stay hydrated hydrated water it's a simple message but it's so serious right we need to drink more water you have to stay hydrated um i'm hearing them actually say stay away from sugary drinks and caffe caffeinated drinks yep with those sirens coming through it's like they're coming through in an urgency to tell you to take better care of your body your earthly body as well as your soul okay so they're wanting to nurture yourself more take better care of yourself all right now they're saying that you they want you to follow your intuition because there's a message that's coming through quite soon the fact that this card says self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy you hear that so the more you take better care of yourself the more you stay organized like i've mentioned in other readings especially my self-care pick a card readings create a schedule a routine a ritual for yourself every day every day when you wake up pray all right Pray, meditate, write down like at least five things you're grateful for. Stretch, stretch your body, move around, right? Then go take care of your personal hygiene. Go eat something, drink some water. Just make sure you have some type of special ritual for yourself where you're making sure you're pouring into yourself before you pour into others, right? It's about endurance, taking care of yourself, breathing, Eating foods that give you energy. Let's see what else you have. So now you have divine blueprint. Look at those light codes going throughout her body like I mentioned. Look at these light codes. You guys are gaining light codes. Blue, purple, lime, green. Look at these colors. Look at how they all match up and white. It's crazy how these colors match up. So the divine blueprint source self embodiment inspiration you are ready embodiment remember i said take better care of your body you guys need to drink water something about a dna activation happening within your body light codes they're trying to cleanse your body you guys might feel called to go through a detox you guys might feel called to change your diet during this time or to work out there could be something with your physical body that could be changing quite soon okay Source self embodiment inspiration. You are ready. Endurance. They're saying you're ready for the next task. You're re ready for the next challenge, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, they're speeding this along. Well, speed ascension, endurance, right? Bring joy. So now we have dolphin baby. Mm hmm. And it says Lemurian origin, flow, timeless, adaptable, free. Take your time. You are ready take your time how interesting is that endurance take your time patience it's a journey right it's a marathon time i'm hearing time it's all about divine timing things will happen when they're supposed to happen for you guys is what i'm hearing so you guys are learning how to be in the ebb and flow because when things speed up, they're saying you're going to need this endurance. You're going to need this endurance. There's something about momentum. Something about pacing yourself. They're, they keep showing me someone racing. Like, 
when they're about to take off like think of the olympics when they're about to take off right and they're ready to take off and then they kind of slowly and notice how they're they're kneeling down right and then they slowly work their way up and take off and they're focused on their own lane so it's something about you guys needing to work on your endurance i'm hearing heart rate levels so stamina you guys need to work on your stamina pace yourself breathe Practice makes perfect. That's what I just heard. The more you do something, the easier it gets. The more you do something, the easier it gets. So they could be trying to tell you to not back down from something because the, the more you do it, the easier it'll become to you, for you. They don't want you to give up is what I'm hearing. Diamond. It's crazy because they're even showing me the Olympics out, people. Isn't it gold? Gold, bronze, silver, is that is that what they win? I can't remember, it's been a while since I've watched the Olympics, but as I said that, it was 11-11 on the timer. It's like you guys need to pace yourself. The only person you're in competition with is yourself, is what I'm hearing. It's different versions of you. And when either one wins, you all win. Parallel dimensions, you guys, there's something about parallel dimensions of yourself kind of coming through divine blueprint dolphins are all about playfulness they're joyful they're playful and we have joy here so they're wanting you to embrace this joy it's not a competition this is so strange but bear with me you guys you know how when there are um track stars that are about to run and they're in their own lane and all you see is speed. Like when they show the camera from a different angle, you, sh you just see all these people running in their lanes. They keep showing me like that vision, but with just lights, like light codes just rushing up. I know that sounds strange, but they keep showing me like each lane has these light codes rushing up. But the track is your body. I know that sounds strange. And the music got loud as I said that, which is kind of creepy. And as I'm looking at this, wow. Okay, let's hold the thought. As I'm looking at the music that's playing, the screensaver for this video actually has a white dragon in a blue shimmery background like I mentioned early. Something about shimmers. I'm going to show you this because it's kind of creepy. This is deep, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Excuse my old computer, but look at this, you guys. You see that? That's deep. That's the message for you. And it's crazy because there's this girl like in a portal while this dragon is kind of looking over her. So, and it's a white dragon. Wow, okay. That That is super deep, you guys. And look, even this dragon has blue eyes, and that dragon has blue eyes. So that's a sign for you guys. And the dragon has a crystal ball in its hand. In its claw. In its hand. In its claw. Kind of like this has a, dra has a crystal in it. I hope in that scene that I showed you guys, you could see that. So go back and um, re like rewind this video and look at that picture. Because that is... That's deep. It has this crystal, like, ball... And it's in its claw just like this Wow I don't know what that's about the, the dragon with the crystal ball in its claw what that means you guys might want to look that up I don't know if that means something but that's kind of deep all right so wow I'm like kind of like stoned by that like okay what is that about like I wish I could get more information on that what does that mean the dragon with the crystal ball in its hand. Let's see if I can find something for you guys real quick. But those light codes are rushing kind of like down the track. And I think that track is like your body. I know that's going to sound so strange, but it's almost like it's rushing through your veins. This, this diamond crystallite energy. So that's why they want you in nature and that's why they want you in water. Because they're trying to give you a um, like an activation of some sort. And they want you to be more joyful they want you to play more you guys let's see dragon 
with crystal. Let's see what this means, dragon with crystal ball. Many pictures of Chinese dragons show a flaming pearl under their chin or in their claws. The pearl is associated with spiritual energy, wisdom, prosperity, power, immortality, thunder, or the moon. Chinese art often depicts a pair of dragons chasing or fighting over the flaming pearl. Wow, that's interesting because this one is a diamond. And then the other in that picture, it would look like some type of crystal, some type of globe that was shining. So that that's quite interesting, okay? So dragons, feng shui, working with Chinese dragons could also be symbolic for you guys since that's what was showing, okay? You guys wanna work with archangels? Archangels are very big for you as well since the Archangel Gabriel is coming up and Archangel Metatron is coming up for you guys, the Merkaba. Yeah, it's like they want you to just flow, like they're protected, you're watched over. They're definitely helping you in some type of area of your life. It's more than just your physical body and your soul body. They're doing other things in your life. They're helping you be a match to things that are higher frequency if that makes sense like higher opportunities but they're saying the key for you right now is express your feelings to tap into that watery emotion the the moon ah, i did say the moon spending time under the sun and the moon could help you that balance of masculine feminine energy both shining light right it's all about light codes and having fun being playful being joyful if you guys to spend time like with kids or with you know dogs or cats do that just play or with dolphins that would be even better do that go have fun take your time things will happen in divine timing they're saying you're ready for this activation just pace yourself focus on joy cleanse your energy connect with the water element it's okay to cry it's okay to laugh it's okay to feel Okay, so take your time. Turquoise blue, indigo blue, white, gold, silver, all your colors. You have assistance here. You have major assistance here. This is very spiritual. You guys want to look up, I don't even know what to say. I, I think you guys want to look up light codes alone on your own. I know what it means, but they're saying they want you to look up light codes. Archangel Gabriel, like I mentioned before, is a messenger. They could give you messages via music. They're definitely communicating with you and they're gonna, they're saying tap into your intuition so you can gain this knowledge and wisdom. It could even be shown to you in a vision. It could be shared to you. Someone could speak something, say something. I just said speak something, say something. There's a message that's definitely coming through. They're, they're actually letting me hear dolphins. You know how the sounds that dolphins make? There might be something symbolic about the, the sounds that, sim, um, that dolphins make. You guys might wanna put that in. Dolphin sounds spiritually or dolphin sound frequencies could be big for you. Play that in your home. There's something about your inner temple, your spiritual temple, which would be your soul, your body and also your outward temple, making sure those sounds kind of play out around you. Something about this is raising your frequency. Water elements in your home, that would be helpful. So water fountains, ocean sounds, chimes that connect with water. Um, what are they called, reishi chimes, I believe? The water element ones would be helpful. Maybe bringing a dragon into your house, seeing what that means. Specifically, it's, if it's white, a white dragon, or a blue ray dragon. Blue ray dragon, white dragon, blueprint, divine blueprint. They're showing you, things are going to light up for you. They're actually showing me the matrix. Like something is going to be shown to you. Lemurian, Lemurian quartz. You guys might wanna work with this quartz. Lemurian quartz. You guys could have a strong connection to Lemuria. The water element, this is a strong water element, you guys. Feelings, emotions connect with the water. Moon, water, emotions, femininity, 
even the pearl underwater. There's something with pearls and diamonds that's high quality. Nurturing yourself, following your intuition. How do you feel? Clairvoyance, clairsations, clairaudience. They're saying you're ready to embody this new power. Go find inspiration in sunlight, under the moonlight, with children, with, with animals. It's the Lemurian quartz. I keep picking it up and it keeps dropping. It's like it just wants to be seen. You guys need to work with this. Or Herkimer or diamond, pearls. If you can wear these stones or, or diamonds on their own, if you can afford to get diamonds. Larimar, aquamarine, aquatine. For some of you, maybe lapis lazuli. I'm not really getting lapis lazuli strongly, though. A lot of clear iridescent colors is what I'm hearing. Clear iridescent shimmer. Those things. If you see like a shimmer or sparkle out in nature, it's like some type of divine being giving you a sign that they're with you. Wow. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. Option one. <laughs> that one's kind of interesting. That could have went on forever. I do feel that way. Okay. Thank you guys. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But we're moving on to option two. Option two. All right. Okay, option two. What do you need to know? Who are your dragon guides? We have sunshine yellow dragon helps you to help animals. Helps you to help animals. Look at that. Serve animals, heal, respect, and understand them. Wow, look at that. The crow, the bluebird, the squirrel, the baby deer. Okay, so and the spirals are really standing out for me, these spiral symbols. Continuous. Growing within, growing outward, growing within something, changing inwardly, and then flowing outwardly. Let's see what else. Virgo dragon, analytical, hardworking, practical. Mm. Analytical, hardworking, practical. This is interesting. This is a lot of like earth energy. You guys need to connect with the earth element. I don't know if you guys have Virgo in your chart or if you're needing to take on the energy of a Virgo during this time. That's what they're trying to tell you. So sunshine yellow dragon and this Virgo dragon. Green dragon. Green and yellow. Green and yellow is your color. Maybe green, gold, and yellow, but green and yellow. Taking a time out. You notice how these animals are just kind of taking a break just to relax, just to be. So they could be wanting you to make sure that you have balance between hard work and relaxation, right? Animals are quite simple. They want you guys to keep things simple. Keep things easy. They're saying simplify. These dragons would love it if you spent time in, in greenery. Somewhere far away from technology, the city life, the woods. I'm hearing the woods, the fields, forest energy. Anywhere where there's a lot of greenery or say if you went hiking, spending time near trees, going to a park, spending time near trees. Of course, do all of this safely. Make sure people know where you are at all times. If you can take someone, that would be even better. Spending time helping animals. You guys might feel called to give to some type of animal sanctuary or to give to an animal shelter, help out at an animal shelter. Some of you may just simply be spending time out in nature and animals might come up to you. That could be a sign. You might want to take note of what animal comes up to you in nature. You guys might also feel called to work with your animal totems. Sounds very strange, but what they're saying is somehow this dragon guide for some of you is using a physical, a 3D animal to connect with you. It's almost like they're the 3D animal, but their soul is this dragon in the higher realms. So that could be symbolic for you guys. It's almost like the dragon is your familiar in the higher realms, but in the physical realms, it's this cat or this dog or this bluebird or this deer or crow. So pay attention to the animals that are trying to get your attention during this time. You keep hearing a certain animal or seeing a certain animal show up, even if it's not in your physical 
um, reality, if it's more of like just a symbol that keeps showing up, pay attention to it. Go look, go look up what that animal totem or guide means, okay? Being structured is what I'm hearing. Being organized, but yet balanced. Having time to rest, not always working. Things don't have to be perfect to be to be good, right? Things don't have to be perfect to be excellent. So they're saying you guys need to rest more. It's all about balance for you guys. It's all about balance and simplicity. Let's see what else you guys need to know. We have tree of life, circles of oh, wait, wait wait hold on circle of life, clear energies channel circle of life. Why does it make me think of the Lion King song? Circle of Life, Clear Energies Channel. So it's time to channel higher information. It's time to clear your energies in order to channel higher information. Circle of Life, it's interesting. That makes me think of the Lion King when that's, a, you know, Lion King animal. It's a cartoon about animals. Then we have these animals here and we have the same colors like this purple and green and gold. So that's symbolic and the sun is masculine energy, but in this is still a balance of nurturing yourself. So this is Mother Gaia. You guys are wanting to connect with Earth more. Yeah, they're telling me to actually leave them like that. You guys are needing to connect with Earth more. Trees, family tree. Spending time under a tree. Look at how this dragon is encircling these animals, like a spiral, right? See how this is a circle? I don't know why I'm getting like a tree's aura. So spending time underneath a tree. Roots branching out, connecting. Spending time around trees. They're showing me avatar. Like how you just, when they were spending time underneath those trees, the energy that came from it, the messages that were given to them from it. Think of Pocahontas, Grandmother Willow. Think of all of that, right? Something with trees. Hugging a tree, connecting with a tree. I'm hearing, it's almost like a DNA activation, kind of like option one, but this is more coming from the earth. It's like an activation that's coming from Gaia herself. So you guys need to touch trees. Spend more time putting your feet out in grass, grounding yourself in nature, especially trees. Trees are your symbol. If you start seeing trees everywhere, well, of course, you're going to see trees everywhere if you're outside. But if you know, like this symbol everywhere, like on shirts, pants, pictures, there's something about this. Look up what trees mean spiritually. Tree of life. They're even showing me, um, I got this in another pick a card reading. They're showing me tuck of everlasting. How that water came, you know, came from that tree. It was right by the tree. And they marked that tree. It's like this tree is going to give you, like, life. It's going to give you energy it's protecting you it's shielding you it's some type of power that's coming from this tree tree of life hmm tree of life emergence wow look at that sun in the background all these butterflies butterflies represent transformation celebrate wow celebrate sensuality joy right to enjoy Truly loving. I'm hearing unconditional love. Look at the colors. Look at the colors in these cards. Green, purple, royal purple, yellows, golds. This is beautiful, you guys. So you guys are emerging the new is what I'm hearing. So you need to also make sure that you're playing. I'm hearing... It's a good balance. They keep saying that the balance of hard work and play, stay in balance, simplify your life, just have fun, enjoy your life. Are you getting by or are you truly living? Circle of life, right? We have the circle, the spiral, the tree. Think of a butterfly's lifespan. Think about how they're the caterpillar, the caterpillar and then they go into this cocoon. They go through this whole chrysalis phase and then they transform. They, you know, they, they slowly come out of this, this chrysalis. I, I think that's what it's called. I'm kind of blanking here, but it, it has to learn how to fly on its own, right? It has to learn how to break out of that shell on its own, basically. It's like a 
bird in a, in a nest in the tree. That baby bird has to break out on its own. It has to learn how to fly on its own. So it's kind of like you're, you need to be nurtured. You need to simplify before you can spread your wings and fly out on your own. They're protecting you. But it's crazy because if you notice, we have her, the, this woman, her wings are spread, right? And these butterflies are hovering around her. It's like she finally gained her wings and she's finally learning how to use them. She's emerged out of this water, right? Look at how this dragon's wings are spread, protecting the other animals and holding the other animals, right? Look at how this dragon's in flight, wings spread. And so it's like spread your wings, fly high, soar, have fun, enjoy life, live your life. Simplify. Think of like an animal, how they're just out there in nature, just living. They don't make things too hard for themselves, right? They're not too hard. They're just doing what they were sent here to do. So you guys want to learn animals. Spend time in, with animals. Embrace that part of you that's very earthly. Connect with Earth. Connect with Gaia. Fly free. Explore the world. I'm, hear I'm hearing explore greenery. They're showing me somewhere like Ireland or Scotland where there's just so much greenery. Yeah. A lot of greenery. There's a need for you guys to fly, to stretch, to, to expand. Yeah. Channel new energy. Celebrate. By you guys having fun and spending time with animals and nature is going to help you to channel new information, new inspiration. Get out of your head and into your heart is what I'm hearing. But with this dragon flying high, I don't know why this is making me feel. And see how these spirals are kind of connecting her to this butterfly and above. Oh, look, there's spirals here too. When I'm looking at these spiraling up, this light spir spiraling up from the earth, spiraling up into this dragon. It's almost like this dragon is flying over her. It's still, it's like they're protecting you. The, the dragon is letting you know that our, our wings of protection are around you as you spread your wings. So it's like they're flying with you. It's Think of Avatar when he finally learned how to fly on that bird. Think of how to train your dragon. It's that energy when you first learn how to fly. You're protected. But your key is to work with the animals during this time. They're going to help you to heal. They're going to help to give you joy. They're going to help to kind of remind you of the present moment to simplify. Trees hold wisdom and DNA. They hold a lot of information. That's why you need to spend time with them give without expectation look at that green and gold isn't that something give without expectation that's making me think of the animals right it says helps you to help animals serve animals serve animals give without expectation he'll respect and understand them so you guys need to work with animals give to them without expectation maybe some of you guys need a bird feeder if you have dogs and cats, spend more time with your dogs and cats. If you don't have any fur babies, but you know someone who has a fur baby, spend time with their fur baby. Donate your time and resources to animal shelters. Adopt a dog or a cat. Spend time with animals in any way you can. Take care of a stray animal. Protect a stray animal. Save a stray animal. There's something with animals here. It's a part of your path right now. They're going to help you. Give without expectation. Animals and trees and nature. Butterflies, crows, bluebirds, deer, baby deer. Is that like a doe? I forgot the name of them. Are they fawn? Can't remember the name of a baby bird. Squirrels. For some of you, I don't know why I heard raccoons. It's all about Mother Earth, Gaia. If you guys can wear green, yellow, golds, that would be in, in royal purples, that would be very helpful for you guys right now, okay? That's going to help you to connect with these dragons. But they're saying earth. Earth is your element. That's, that's the element you want to work with. Nurture animals. Mother Gaia will bless you if you nurture animals and you nurture the earth, okay? It's like you will be blessed for that. 
So celebrate and have fun, spend time in nature. You know how like they show those princesses in Disney movies with animals, singing with animals, playing with animals, it's that energy. Go spend time with animals, okay? So let's move on. Option two, if you like that reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe, but we're moving on to option three. Hello, option three. I accidentally took some of option four with me. Hold on. Hi, option three. So your dragon is earth dragon, grounded, fertility, stillness. Okay, now that's beautiful. We have all this clear quartz around this dragon. This is making me think of the hermit. It's making me think of um, the hermit card, which is Virgo. You guys might feel called to watch another pal because it just had that energy. So we have Earth Dragon. We have Magenta Dragon. Whoa. It says, enables you to bring forward your soul wisdom. Awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding. Prepare for a celebrated ascension. This is interesting because the hermit usually goes within, kind of like in hibernation, right? Like think of a bear that goes into hibernation and knows just the right time when to come out of it, right? Hibernation is for rest, nurturing yourself. Understanding the climates of the world, right? Of the earth. Animals know when to hibernate. They know when to go away. They know how much to store. So it's like you guys need to kind of adjust to the climate, the seasons of life, and the seasons of earth. Because this is awakens your soul memories. And this dragon is resting. This earth dragon is resting. It's grounding. It's in stillness. It's just growing. It's like a pregnant woman, right? Who takes time out to nest, to, to nurture themselves. Quiet. Hermit mode, right? Retreat. It's almost like someone, it's like when you haven't seen someone for a while and then they come out brand new, it's that energy. You guys need to ground your energy out in nature. So this is, for you guys, it's home in nature. So if you have a backyard, that would be perfect for you guys. You guys need to slow down and kind of take it easy because you're preparing for an accelerated ascension. So they're saying... You are slowly preparing. It's almost like before a rocket takes off, before it launches. Or think of like an airplane before it's getting ready to take off. Like something needs to kind of be grounded first, right? Before it can really take off. So they want you to ground your energy. Spend time resting. Because right now you're slowly going to awaken to, to this, these soul memories and higher spiritual understanding. This knowledge that they're going to give you. And they're preparing you for accelerated ascension. There's a lot with dream, your dream state and sleep. Sleep is big for you guys. You guys need to sleep. Sleep, rest. Some of you guys could also have like Taurus in your chart. Like Virgo, Taurus. Possibly Aries. Yeah. Very earthy. This is very earthy. So, yeah. It's either Taurus. Could be Virgo. Aries energy, a little bit of fire. So this is earth and fire, but mostly earth. But they're preparing for something. They're preparing something to take off. It's like a rocket. They keep showing me a rocket. So maybe you do have some fire here. Fire and earth elements. Magenta. You have brown and magenta. Enables you to bring forward your soul wisdom. The hermit usually holds wisdom. It holds knowledge. Yeah, it goes within for knowledge and wisdom. It goes within for knowledge and wisdom. So I'm trying to understand what they're trying to tell me right now, you guys. You're going in this tunnel, this cave, retreating like the hermit to gain more soul wisdom, to prepare yourself for this wisdom. It's a process. It's like step one and step two and step three. It's like, yeah, they're showing me three steps. First step, ground yourself. Get still, simplify, relax, sleep more, rest more, drink your water, eat some foods that are nurturing. Did you hear that crow? That could be a sign for you. Rest, work with clear quartz. Clear quartz is an amplifier. Work with selenite. Selenite is good for protection. 
as you rest more, as you meditate more, as you spend time in quietness and stillness in nature, this is when they give you more wisdom about your soul trap. I'm here, your soul contract, your soul path, and possibly even your soul tribe. But they're trying to prepare you for this asc ascension, which is going to come in like full, I'm here, full throttle. Like it's going to come in super fast when the time is right. You're going to like really build momentum. So they're saying, brace yourself. Brace yourself. Rest while you can. Blu-ray being. Look at that. Direct divine expression. Direct divine expansion. I said expansion instead of expression. Expanding. Soul consciousness is what I'm hearing. Okay, so direct divine expression bridge between dimensions. Whoa. The earthly and the higher realms. See how... This being is more cosmic. Look, the magenta being is more in a cosmic energy. Then you have the earth dragon here. So it's in between worlds. This card, it's like it's in between worlds, right in the middle. Bridge between dimensions. They're trying to connect you. See? The Merkaba is a sacred vehicle. Archangel Metatron's cube. This divine being is trying to connect you with these higher galactic energies. See these cosmic, cosmic rays? planets this acceleration is really going to take off for you hmm. this is deep this one's really deep okay let's see breathing look at her raising the light to the sky breathing ground <laughs> you have two cards that talk about ground feel sensations purity clarity expression now you have two cards that talk about expression and and grounding so water helps to purify, helps to cleanse, helps to ground. So does earth. For some of you, this is going to sound really strange, but I'm getting like a mud bath. Like they're showing me dirt and water. Water poured on dirt helps plant to grow, right? Mud. Something about nurturing the two elements working together, but you also have fire. So you guys have three elements here. Could have four with breathing. So... You guys need to work with all of the elements. Grounding your energy, feeling balanced. Breathing in nature, slowly grounding yourself, walking barefoot in water and dirt and sand. I'm hearing present moment, taking it really easy. It's like this really slow and steady energy. And then all of a sudden it's going to like anchor. It's going to take off. It's going to like get real grounded and rooted. And then all of a sudden it's just going to speed up. It's just going to be ready to take off. It might take you by surprise. It's like all of a sudden the energy is going to gain momentum. So what they're saying here is that if you feel like things aren't working in your favor, there's things are just taking forever to being shown to you or to be given to you just know that in due timing it's going to take off for you things will take off for you things are going to get way better and you're going to be coming across a lot of information soon like past life memories soul memories understanding of your reasoning for being here okay all of that I'm hearing you guys are going to be working with like ascended masters, cosmic beings, learning lessons. This is a journey. You guys are more on like a spiritual journey. Yeah. It, it might seem like a lonely path, but you're truly never alone. So what's your message? Take responsibility for your actions. Wow. So they're saying ownership. You're responsible for everything you do. That's why they want you to rest. That's why they want you to take some time out to go within. It's almost like you're reflecting. You're taking some time to reflect on your life. Things that you've done, things that you haven't done. Things that you want to do, the things that you no longer want to do. You're reflecting. 
because this is going to help you to end out an old chapter in order to enter a new one. I'm hearing you are becoming more responsible every day. More, it's about self awareness. This pal is about self awareness, it's about your intentions. Why are you doing something? Why are you wanting something? How do you feel about this? What makes you feel this type of way? That type of thing. How do you wanna live your life? Who do you wanna live your life around? All of that. So this is quite deep. This one's quite deep. You guys are going through these steps, these pro this process. You're saying it's a process. This pathway, you're learning different things. I'm seeing, um, I don't know why they're saying Karate Kid, Grasshopper, like the mentor. It's like these dragons are coming in kind of in this Blu-ray being. They're kind of coming in like like teachers. Think of like that, the teachers. Senate masters are coming through and grounding you. They're saying, look, you need to ground yourself, get centered, breathe, come back to the present moment, simplify, pay attention to that on one thing at a time. Get clear. They're saying you're going to know how to move forward and when to move forward when the time is right. But you have this mentor energy, this ascendant master energy that's kind of watching over you. And they might actually send one in the, in the 3D for you soon. But it's like that slow grasshopper. Like the student, the kid that wants to learn fast, wants to just do it already, right? Wants to jump into to whatever this is. But the, the ascendant master, this teacher... This elder, this mentor is saying, slow your pace, breathe. I'm going to show you an easier way of doing things. I'm going to show you an easier path of handling things. Okay? So it's that energy. And they're even showing me Bruce Lee. It's like all of that technique doesn't come just by, oh, I can do it. You know, I'll watch it. I can do it now. It takes patience. It takes discipline. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes technique, skill to master something like that. Rest, it also takes rest. Okay? They're saying rest is fundamental to your success and to your health, your well-being. So they're saying you need to know when to slow down. It, it, it's I've seen this in movies before where the student wants to rush and they end up injuring themselves. And the, their teacher, their mentor told them, slow down. Slow down. So there's this elder mentor energy that's telling you to take responsibility for your actions. Know when to rest and relax. And breathe. Ground and express yourself. Because in the right timing, things are going to speed up. In the right timing, things are going to happen for you. But right now you're growing and you cannot rush that growth process. You're on a journey, remember? Think of Buddha, think of Jesus. You're on that kind of spiritual journey. The hermit going within for more knowledge and wisdom, insight, learning. So you guys wanna spend time in nature, breathing in fresh air. Fresh air, letting it into your space. Fresh air, grounding yourself, relaxation, all helpful. Okay? So that's what you guys need to know, option three. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But we're going to move on to four. Hi, four. Who is your spirit guide for? Okay, your dragon guide. So maybe the dragon guide is your spirit guide. As I said, who is your spirit guide? We have earth and water dragon. Look at that. Creates the foundation for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. So water and earth, that's all about growing and nurturing something. Plants, farming, they're showing farming. They're showing me a farm. Yep, yep farming yeah they just they keep confirming it i just heard yep yep farming i think i said it too i don't think i just heard that that's interesting farming growing planting gardening putting your hands in the dirt and mud 
I'm hearing someone um, say something about rip out the the um, weeds, rip out the what's what's rotten, what's not serving you, so that something new can grow. Tending to your own spiritual garden. There's a Janet Jackson interlude where she says you must learn how to water your own spiritual garden, something like that. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest abundance. This makes me think of the Seven of Pentacles. And it also makes me think of the Star card and the Temperance card. And you have the moon in the background. This is kind of interesting. So this is about healing. This is about balance. This is about growing and having hope. That something you wish for, something you want can grow for you. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. A lot came from that one card. What do we have? Violet Ray Dragon. Whoa. Violet Ray, Violet Flame. Saint Germain, Lady Portia. You guys might want to look them up. Transmutation, Ascension Frequency. Your frequency is heightening. Transmuting the old into something positive, something old into something new. Transmuting pain into something that's fruitful. Look at it in reverse. Wow. It's crazy because both of these dragons kind of have these sharp kind of um, like ears. I know that's strange, but I want to show you that, how it has that, because not all of them have that. So that could be quite symbolic. Okay. All right, I'm just looking at the depiction of it. Okay, so let's see what else. We have resolution. Oh, that diamond, that triangle. The Merkaba. Okay, so you guys, it's violet, blue, and green. Okay, so old timelines collapsing, which we're kind of seeing in the world right now, right? We're seeing all these different timelines and the matrix, different parts of it kind of collapsing. So that newness can be brought into life, right? Insights, higher self-embodiment, expression. Look at this. Transmutation, ascension, frequency. Old timelines collapsing. Insights, higher self-embodiment, expression. Higher self-embodiment. These two go together. What about this one? Share space. Interesting. Look at these music notes. That's what that reminds me of. Music notes and confetti. There's a ribbon in the sky for our love. That's what I just heard. Telepathy, co-creation, communing, honoring. Co-creation. I'm hearing co-creating with earth. Growing something. Planting a seed. Watching something grow. This, this is like fertile energy. But this is also like manifestation. I'm, I'm setting intention towards something and I'm going to watch this intention, this plant, this manifestation grow. This could be an actual child or this could be an idea. Something's taking root. Something is growing. The frequency is raising. Insights, higher self-embodiment, higher conscious, soul conscious, soul awareness. So this is like, um, they're showing me a couple, like this could be like soulmates, or if you guys believe in that whole twin flame thing, it's it's that. It's like you guys are connecting with um, a higher soul soulmate coming in. These dragons are kind of letting you know this. It could actually be a mixture of earth and water. Two, two energies coming together to help something grow, right? Think of masculine and feminine energies. Think of the ankh. They're showing me the ankh. Think of something coming together to help it grow. They're showing me the sides of a Merkaba, right? If you really look at it, it looks like two triangles, one upside down, one in the right way, layered on top of each other, these points. Creation. This is all about creation because they're, they're saying Genesis. They're also showing me how there's different metaphysical, like there's different symbols, like the, the flower of life in different things in earth, right? There's different symbols that are in earth. different flowers they're showing me like the creation of flowers the details in, in flowers and leaves the structure of things 
there's symbols even in our bot on our bodies if you if you do a close-up on your fingers sometimes you can see spirals right it's like same dna makeup or print it's different but yet it's the same and this looks like a flower it looks like two people blossoming in this flower and look these two dolphins are connected overlapping two energies overlapping to create something there's a resolution here if you've been looking for a resolution it's coming crystal quartz rose quartz emerald amethyst citrine um there's this there's this um is it chariot chariot there's a purple crystal i don't know too much about it they're showing me that but they also show me amethyst Tiger's eye, emerald, big time, rose quartz, jade. Wow, clear quartz. This divine energy of, of two energies connecting to create something, to nurture something. Masculine and feminine energy is coming together to manifest something. Remember I said Lady Portia and St. Germain? Look, look them up. Violet Ray. This is higher energy. This is like a Senate Master Council of the Light Energy, sharing space with each other. Two elements knowing how to blend with each other to help each other grow, sharing space, co-creation, creating something new, community, unity, telepathy within soul tribes and communities. Dolphins are known for te telepathy. You guys might wanna look that up. This is soulmate energy. This is really high higher energy so look up the violet ray violet flame that's big in this in this reading they're not giving me too much for you guys just that so let's see what their message is inspire others isn't that beautiful helping another inspiring another Woo! the fact that that fell when i said that yeah that's a sign I'm taking that as a sign so i'm seeing that as a message that i was on point there that's your biggest message inspire others what is that someone's i don't know if it was um i don't know if it was nipsey hustle quoting someone else but i think he said the highest human um act is to, is to be able to inspire another i believe that's what he said don't quote me word, word for word on it the highest human the highest human impact is to inspire the highest human um something like that is to inspire one another to help one another right this is about building a community a safe haven inspiring others being inspired by others community soul tribe soul family working with like-minded souls huh. this is deep you guys this is deep inspire others so this earth and water dragon violet ray dragon want you to have discernment follow your intuition and work in um i mean in partnerships groups work with others share connect we're all energy connect with others so for some reason that's going to help you it's going to help to give you some type of insight honoring those who've come before you and after you a fresh start is coming with new opportunities nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance saving saving resources and sharing resources when you make it someone else makes it right so there's not there's nothing about hoarding or being stand standoffish about anything. Some people can kind of um, create like this gate, like this um, wall where they don't let people come in. They don't let people get in, and they're saying be aware of that energy. Allow allow the right people into your life. This is about discernment and following your intuition and know who's for you and who's not for you. Knowing how much of yourself to give and, and knowing when to save and to store away, right? 
but it's a difference between protecting what's yours and then hoarding. So know when to give and know when to save and make sure that you're also receiving equally. There's definitely some type of new abundance that's growing. and It could be an abundance of love, an abundance of money, abundance of um, resources, abundance of joy, peace, prosperity. There's definitely new opportunities that are coming. You could be in a position soon that's going to help you to inspire others, help you to help others. Your ideas are divinely guided and divinely given to you, so they want you to act upon them. Okay? Something about overlapping. You and someone else's life purpose is going to overlap. Two. You have 11 and you have two here. It's like somehow this is going to help you to connect with this other, with these other soul tribes, other, other soul family, but specifically a soul mate. You guys are going to co create with each other. You guys are going to create something together. All right, so that's what I have for you. Big time transformation. Ooh, it's a unique one. That's what I have for you, option four. If you like this reading, and as I said, that it was 1 11 11. So it's like all ones. Yo, that's wild. So, whew, that's deep. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. We're going to move on to option five. High five. Who are your dragon guides? Emerald Dragon, yes, brings in healing and cosmic abundance. Good fortune is coming. Let your thoughts support your divine perfection. Align with your fifth dimensional blueprint. Ooh, so you guys are connecting with a higher frequency, higher dimensions. Your life purpose. This is all about your life purpose, you guys. And they're saying good fortune is coming. Emerald Dragon, those flowers. You guys might want to bring flowers into your space. This is beautiful. It's pink and green. It's like the heart chakra. Who's your other dragon? Emerald green ray dragon. So you guys are the... Okay, I think so far you guys are the only pal. The only option that has the same dragon from two different decks. So your dragon is definitely the emerald dragon. So wearing the color emerald, we're wearing the stone emerald... It doesn't matter what type of quality emerald stone it is. Just rocking that emerald stone, wearing that. If you can wear it on your heart, that's even better. Working with the color emerald and working with the stone emerald will be very helpful. But some of you guys, maybe you're born in May or the month of May could be significant. Or the um, Taurus. I believe emerald is connected to Taurus or connected to May. I can't remember. But peace, centeredness, harmony. Wow. Align with your fifth dimensional blueprint. This is about harmony, peace, centering yourself, healing, and cosmic abundance. Because when you're in alignment, this is what happens, right? When you're in peace, when you're in harmony, when you're staying centered, that's what helps you to align with this fifth dimensional blueprint. That's what helps bring in this good fortune. So they're bringing you in healing, cosmic abundance, good fortune. Divinely given thoughts and ideas to help support your life purpose. And they're helping you to align to higher frequencies. So the Emerald Dragon, the Emerald Ray Dragon, the Emerald Green Dragon, this Emerald Dragon is definitely your dragon. I just cannot, that that right there, I, I want to know if the other options have the same dragon or you, or if you're the only one. But so far you're the only one that has the same dragon from two different decks. So without a doubt, that is your dragon. Look, even their face is kind of shaped the same way. He has a Merkaba in his mouth. And above him. That's deep. Okay. Let's see what else you guys need to know. Breathe the sun. So we have this turtle here. I don't know why they're showing me reptilian energy. The turtle is kind of slow and steady. It's very earthy. But the cool thing about turtles is that can, they can be on land or they can be in water. Presence. Pineal activation. Third eye chakra. Let go. Relax. So that's kind of connecting with this peace, centeredness, and harmony. Look at that green and that yellow, that gold energy. Presence. Staying in the moment. 
staying in the present moment, feeling things, living in the moment is also what I'm hearing. Fresh air, smell the flowers. You know, they, you know that saying, stop and smell the roses? That's what your dragon is wanting you to do. That third eye chakra is about to open. You're going to gain some insight. They want you to relax. They want you to let go of what doesn't serve you. Spend time underneath the sun. Just chill. Like, Look, they're both chilling. See? Just relaxing. There's no need to rush. Everything is going to happen in divine timing. Everything is happening for you. Not against you. That's, that's from another oracle deck. I can't remember which one. We have cosmic circles, and this says create sacred space. Embrace unlimited possibilities. Wow. Let go and embrace unlimited possibilities. That's what I just heard. So this is about surrendering to the divine. Surrendering to peace, centeredness, harmony. Surrendering to healing. The more you spend time in the present moment, just focusing on one thing at a time. Spending time in fresh air, getting fresh air under the sun, spending time smelling the flowers, all of that, being grateful for the simple things is what's really going to help you. So for some of you, it's as simple as, you know what, I've always wanted to, you know, clean out my closet and, and you know, it, it's something as simple as that, or I've always wanted to re redecorate, or I've always wanted to plant some flowers in my garden, or I've always, you know, all of that. It's the simple things in life is what they're saying. They want you to focus on the most, the simple things. Taking it easy, slow. They're showing me like um, like an old town or like somewhere down south or like an old country or old town. Or even like a town that's by water. Something that's slow paced. They, they want you to kind of think of an energy like that. Like just slow living. Take it easy. Even if you do live in the city or live where there's a lot of, you know, things going on, they want you to do simple things. Take it easy. Create space for yourself. Okay? So cosmic circles. This is deep. So there's still a connection from the higher realms, obviously, because you're aligning with fifth dimensional blueprint. You're aligning with these cosmic energy. But they're saying there's unlimited possibilities that are available to you. Good fortune is coming your way. Cosmic, look, you have cosmic abundance, right? So you guys are connected to the co this cosmic energy. Cosmic abundance and cosmic circles. Align with your fifth dimensional blueprint. Let your thoughts support your divine perfection. So your thoughts of peace and harmony, right? Letting go of anything that doesn't serve you. Same in the present moment. For some of you guys, it's also your crown chakra. Your crown chakra, your third eye chakra, and your heart chakra. Yeah. Cosmic abundance, good fortune. This is positive. This is this is really juicy. This is good stuff that's coming your way, you guys. What is their message? What's this emerald green? Release toxic relationships. Okay, so let go. So they're wanting you to let go. Not just of toxic relationships with people. Or family or friends, whomever is around you. But this also, you can see my reflection in that. That's kind of cool. But um, it's also the way you handle things. Like what, what relationship do you have with food or with alcohol or with, you know, spending money or shopping or um, anything. It could be your relationship with anything. School, work. Some people overwork, right? Some people don't know when to rest. So it's like release toxic relationships, the toxic relationships you have with things. So the way you're doing things, toxic habits, toxic tendencies. And then, of course, yes, the most common one, toxic relationships with those around you. But most importantly, toxic relationships within yourself. There's some things that you're needing to release and let go of in order to have better. So there's a lot of surrendering, letting go, and releasing right creating space so that you can have new energy so you can make room for new energies so whether this is actually let me clean this out let me get rid of this in my home or in my space so that i can make room for newer things because for a lot of you with this emerald energy it's very rich it's very vibrant i'm getting something with resources finances money coming your way blessings yeah with this good fortune and cosmic abundance it's like you will have more. Your needs will be provided for. That's what this dragon is coming through. 
money is not a problem i'm here money ain't a thing that song with um jermaine dupree and, and um jay-z i know that's so wild but you guys give me a, a a a mixture of earthly the mundane the material possessions and the spiritual side of things so this could be you guys connecting and aligning more with this fifth dimension which is going to help to bring you more resources and more prosperity because you're going to be connecting with your life purpose the reason why you're here you know when they say when you do when you when you do something you love, you never have to work a day in your life. You won't feel like you're working. You're just living your life purpose. So therefore, you will be provided for. But there's a need for you guys to release toxic relationships, toxic people, toxic habits, to toxic belongings, anything. Release what doesn't serve you. Make room for what does serve you. Make room for new energies and positive energies to come in. Okay, so let go of what's not for you so that the good and the positive, the uplifting, the higher vibrational things can come in. All right. So that's what this green emerald ray dragon is coming through. They're saying stay in harmony, stay balanced, stay serene. Because things are looking up for you. It's a lot of good luck. A lot of good luck. I'm hearing Jupiter too. All right, so that's what I have for you. Option, I believe you were five. Okay, have a good one. We're on to option six, I believe. Yep, and as I said that, another one, 11. So I want you guys to look up one, 11. So one, 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 two as well, okay? All right, so let me see. All right, option six. Six, what's going on? You guys have Keeper Dragon. Light Connection Path. Look at that. Look at that. That's the most unique one we've seen so far. He has a Merkaba behind him. He has ruins behind, behind him. Symbols. He has books all around him and candles. Three white candles. Knowledge. Wisdom. His, he has a third eye too. So this dragon, Keeper Dragon, is like the Akashic Records. This is giving me like thought energy knowledge wisdom resources soul contracts soul mm -hmm, soul path life purpose past life energy akashic records keeper dragon what's your next dragon royal blue and gold dragon look at that path like like this red carpet lined up for him he's royal he has a sword look at that he has a sword that's unique. Okay, so we have strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Whoa. Awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power and pride. You guys, this is like these dragons right here. And I wonder if this is the same dragon or if it's just different. But these two dragons, even look at the little spiral in their little... I don't know what this would be called. They're little horns. Like this, there's, they both have like this little spire, like this little wave going through it. That's kind of interesting. And they're both like ombre colored. You see that? And he has, whoa, 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 he has a third eye. Not all of them have third eyes. So both of your dragons have this third eye open. And they're both regal, higher dimensional. They, they're the ones who hold knowledge, wisdom, and power. This is giving me high priestess energy, thoth energy, the hierophant energy. This is the keeper dragon, meaning it's the keeper of knowledge, wisdom, secrets, magic, power. This means it's royal to hold, hold such authority, right? It holds authority. And then you have this royal blue and gold. These and, and I'm hearing royal blue, gold, royal purple. These are colors you want to work with, but this also represents royalty. So light connection and path. Awaken to your own majesty. Awaken to your path. Awaken this connection. Wear your cloak of power and pride. Look at that. He's holding this cloak. It's like it's being given to you. They're giving you this power, this knowledge, this royalty, this regalness, this authority, this sword of wisdom and truth, these books of wisdom and knowledge. The tongue is your sword. This wisdom is your sword. This wisdom is your protection. Think of, um, 
they're giving me so much right now, but think of like Game of Thrones. Um, what was his name? Is it Titus? I can't remember the guy's name. Um, he said like he said that he was so different from his family, but his knowledge was his sword. His wisdom, his brain was what made him stand out from his siblings. He was intelligent. So you guys have some type of wisdom that's being given to you. This crown of wisdom, this sword of wisdom and power. Think of like Harry Potter when he got that, that invisibility cloak, right? Cloak of in invisibility. You guys are connecting with Akashic Records. You guys are connecting with some type of keeper dragon, this royal blue gold dragon, this majestic, this royal dragon that holds a lot of power and authority. They're giving you some type of wisdom. This has to do with your soul contract and your life purpose, why you've come here. So you guys are probably probably sent here to be great spiritual teachers or leaders. You are here to create some type of change in the world. Give some type of knowledge, some type of wisdom, whether you're healers, truth seekers. It's something here about you guys gaining wisdom from the higher realms. Knowledge that can't be explained. Possibly you guys could be mediums. You guys could be channeling a lot of information, psychics. Think of the high priestess, alchemists, magicians, witches, healers, teachers, the golden child. This is powerful. Some of you guys are also connected to Archangel Michael, protector, warrior, he who is like God. This is deep. This is deep. This is authority. This is power. This isn't this isn't anything to play with right here. The holding wisdom, knowledge. The the high priest within the royal kingdom. It's like something that like that. This dragon that's not seen a lot because it holds so much ranking and authority. Okay, what else? Wow, and as I said that horn, that was loud. Yeah. It's like a, signifying them getting your attention like pay attention i'm hearing purple orchids purple orchids you guys might want to bring in purple orchids i know that's so strange but they're saying something about like purple purple orchids okay so we have sacred mountain and it says vision quest look at that vision quest third eye it says vision quest clarity and truth shambhala you guys might want to look that up deep healing Look at that spiral. It's like they wave this path out for you and then it's all this light. And so what's strange is it's almost like they're lighting this pathway up for you. They're showing you where to meet them. It's almost like a gatekeeper, but they're letting you in. They're going to give you some type of robe. It's like when you pass a level in a video game and they give you something that allow you in it and they give you some type of wisdom. You finally get to meet the keeper dragon it's that energy like you've passed some type of test you're on your way to the sacred mountain and on the sacred mountain there's this royal blue and royal blue and gold dragon and this keeper dragon just waiting for you so they're saying you will find your way seven is very spiritual you're gaining resources insight clarity and truth knowledge and wisdom about things that, were, that are hidden you're standing in your power you're taking your power back and the path is being light up. It's lighting up for you. It's being lit lit up for you. Like they, it's almost like they let can't like they lit candles along the pathway for you. Family of light. Wow, look at that angel. So you guys also may be working with angels. I'm also seeing an ostrich for some reason, you guys. An ostrich. I don't know if that means something. You guys might want to look at what an ostrich means. Um, spiritually, the animal guide or animal totem. Look at the chakras. Working with the higher chakras too, right? The chakras that aren't so talked about. Now we have signs. This is interesting. So we have signs and it has light connection path. We have all these symbols here in this card. Vision quest. So you're going to be given signs, synchronicities. I'm hearing decoding something you're going to be decoding these signs these this knowledge this wisdom that this keeper dragon is giving to you decoding it's almost like you're in this school spiritual school you're going to the spiritual school in your sleep or in your meditations yeah they're giving you new knowledge and wisdom 
strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty. Wear the cloak of power with pride. Signs, guidance, innate and ancient wisdom. Look at that. Innate and ancient wisdom. This is all about wisdom and power. Wisdom and power. So this family of light is giving you power. This keeper dragon, this royal blue and gold dragon, this family of light, they're guiding you to the sacred mountain to teach you things, to give you this ancient wisdom, to give you this guidance, these signs. We have 11 and 7 here. They're showing you the pathway, sacred mountain and path. They're giving you this cloak to wear. It's like they're gifting you this. This is like a gift from these divine beings. They're gifting you this sword. They're gifting you the cloak. They're giving you the they're gifting you books of wisdom. They're gifting you downloads and guidance and they're showing you which path to take. They're gifting you this. Be grateful. What is their message? Everyone has value. Wow. Everyone and everything has value and they see the value in you. Look at that cosmic energy. Galactic. They're guiding you. All these stars. They're saying Aquarius. Some of you guys could have Aquarius in your chart. You don't have to. But it's like light, power, uniqueness, your life purpose, your pathway. The star is supposed to shine. Make a wish. Dream big. Everyone has value. 12, 12, 12, and 21, 12 could be symbolic for you, those numbers. 21, 12 specifically. You have value. You have a reason for being here. You have a life purpose. Everyone has a purpose for being here, and that's what they're going to show you. Everyone has a reason why they're here. Every single living thing is what they're saying. Okay? Every single thing has a purpose. So keep following your life purpose. Stay centered. Remember to sleep well, to rest well, to meditate. In order to gain whatever insight this is, the sacred mountain seems like some type of dimension they're, they're guiding you to. It's like they're taking you down this pathway, right? This vision quest. And they're leading you to a certain area. They're leading you to a certain place to give you this knowledge, to give you this gift, this resource along your journey. These resources. So I'm hearing keep your eyes on the prize, that third eye open. Keep pure intentions right keep your heart pure that's what's going to matter because they can tell whether your heart is pure or not so that's what that's what's coming through you guys i'm waiting to see if there's any more but it's just they're going to help you to see things clearly possibly within your meditation a lot of wisdom and downloads and channel messages connecting with this family of light connecting of light beings this is both says light light beings path is being like I'm hearing lit up for you it's like this a light path yeah so you have a purpose for being here there's a reason for you being here you're supposed to achieve something that's quite phenomenal to share something that's quite phenomenal don't you ever forget it you might be guided to a certain book too you guys so keep that in mind if you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But we're moving on to option seven. Seven. Okay, seven. What's up? Lucky seven. Spiritual seven. Okay. We have air dragon. So your dragon guide is air dragon. Look at him flying with these bluebirds. Helps you to rise above earthly matters. Helps you rise above earthly matters. Communicate honestly brings inspiration and hope see life from a higher perspective see life like an eagle fly like an eagle is that a song i'm hearing i want to get away i want to get away is that um lenny kravitz i'm hearing that song but i'm hearing something like an eagle too i do not own the copyrights to that song but um, there's something about seeing things from a higher perspective. Eagles have a great sight. They have a great, vis great visibility of what's going on below them. Hawks, eagles. So air, like winged beings could be symbolic for you guys. Air, fresh air, communication. Think of the swords and tarot. 
Okay, your next dragon. Wow, etheric dragon. Woo, look at that. Isn't that one unique? I don't even know what this symbol is up here. Look at its wings. If that's, look, this one was in the air, but this one's like in the cosmos floating in the air. Look at this blue. It's like a blue purple. Like, um, I don't even know what color that would be. It's like a blue purple, like this navy blue purple indigo with light blue. Bridge between physical and spiritual. That's what this is. Physical and spiritual, being able to see things from a higher perspective down. It's like seeing things from the cosmos, but seeing it, like say you're in the cosmos, right? And you're able to look down onto earth from such a higher perspective. Like seeing the reason for things, the reasoning behind things, seeing why you were sent here, what your purpose is here for. So see life from a higher perspective, helps you rise above earthly matters. Bridge between physical and spiritual. Seeing the reasoning behind things. Wow. That's, that's, it's as simple as that. Helps you rise above earthly matters. Bridge between physical and spiritual. Etheric dragon. Helping you to see the bigger story. Helping you to see the layout. The reasoning behind things. That's all they keep saying. Okay. So air and a, air dragon and etheric dragon. It's very dreamy. It's very airy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, as well as Pisces is what's coming through. Whoa, okay. So dream state could be coming in. Something very dreamy, watery. They're saying Neptune. Okay, what else? We have guidance. Look at that. And look at the color of that horse. It's like similar. So unicorns, they're unique. They're different, ethereal. So we have this unique ethereal energy, almost like mythical this mystic creature look at that it's like this stardust dragon it's a very unique looking dragon this is a very unique looking unicorn so it says inner compass that's your intuition right support trust your guidance wow so you're being guided by this etheric dragon and this air dragon they're able to see things from a higher perspective. So this dragon's able to see things from a higher perspective on earth, right? It's in the air. And this dragon is able to see things from a higher perspective because it's etheric, it's in the universe. It's also in between, it's between the physical and the spiritual. It hovers in between, goes back and forth to get information and to give information. And possibly it uses this dragon to communicate with you. So they're working together is what I'm, I'm hearing. They're like a partnership helping you. And then you have this unicorn that's also here as a guide. Look at her. And she looks like a fairy being, an elf being. So you have like, this is more like earthly. The fays are earthly. So you have all this guidance. Inner compass support, trust your guidance. Communicate honestly. Brings inspiration, hope, see life from a higher perspective. So they see things from a higher perspective. So they're trying to guide you. And they're saying communicate with them clearly and honestly about what it is you want to know or need to know. What you need help with. Because five is here and five is representing change. So they're helping you to rise above things that don't serve you. Rise above things that maybe you don't understand. To show you the blueprint. To show you what's going to happen or what could happen for you if you stay positive. They're going to give you inspiration and hope. That unicorn, it makes me think of hope. Even this etheric dragon makes me think of the star card. Hope. Magic. Infinite possibilities. You're being divinely supported. What else? We have portal. Look at this. It's like a fey being. So you guys are working with fey beings, dragons, elementals, and unicorns. So elementals will be these fey, fey beings or fairies or elves. You have this un these, this unicorn. You have these two dragons here. So we have doorways to, into now, letting go of the warrior. And look, she looks like she's on a, on this on this like like maybe she was a knight, right? 
Maybe she was going into battle, but this unicorn is letting her know that she's unique. She's different. She doesn't have to always be in this fighting energy. She can allow divine support to guide her, to help her. So I'm hearing this energy of be a warrior, be a warrior, not a warrior, right? You, we've all heard that. But in this one, they're saying you don't even have to be a warrior. You can just relax and let go, surrender, and we'll take care of it. Look at how all of these rays are kind of falling on her. You have like this light codes. You guys might see orbs. Orbs kind of coming around you. This is very um, earth, earthy, but yet air. It's air and earth. Yep, physical and spiritual. It. You guys are being guided towards certain portals. Yep, it does say bridge between physical and spiritual. That's a portal. That's a portal. So you're seeing things from a higher perspective. They're helping you to rise above earthly matters. They're guiding you. They're giving you they're giving you resources. They're giving you guidance and wisdom and support. They're telling you to follow your inner compass. They're going to show you which path to go in, which way to go. And these on her bags for for some reason makes me think of a bow and arrow. They're telling you where to put your focus, where to make your aim. This is Celt. Some of you guys might have some Celtic energy that you're connecting with because these elementals are coming through strong. It's giving me um, Ireland and Scotland. I just said this for another pal, but this is strongly. Or Finland. There's something about that there. It's not for everybody. And then for some of you, I'm getting some... Some of you might have family that's down south or some um, ancestors that were down south, lived down south. They're showing me swamps, lakes. That could be a portal within within itself. Swamps, lakes, a lot of greenery. Greenery that's kind of hidden by water. Fresh air because of the trees. It's something like that. Trees, cottages. I know that's so random, but that's all the information that's coming through. Very airy. Fresh air mountains greenery fresh water you guys might even come across something with like fey beings elf beings yeah okay so it's like the elementals are connecting with you on the earth right and you have these higher these dragons communicating with you possibly in the, more in the fifth dimension follow the golden rule whoa we're talking about following your inner compass, trusting your guidance, knowing that you're supported, letting go of the warrior and doorways into now and the present moment, this portal in between physical and spiritual. Rising above earthly matters because there's a golden rule. So they're saying they want you to follow this golden rule. They're, it's giving you guidance. Look up the golden rule, you guys. Look at Look it up. But they're saying follow the golden rule. Follow it. Keep it in mind. It's like you're free to do as you choose, as you please, but follow the golden rule. And remember to re remember to communicate honestly. Remember honesty, integrity. They're saying honesty, integrity, and dignity. Okay? So see things from a higher perspective. There's a need to create is what I'm hearing. You guys need to create something. They're giving you insight. They want you to create something. Use it for inspiration. And they're giving you a guide to live your on how to live your life in a way that's going to be the best suitable for you. I'm hearing what's going to lead you to more higher frequencies, higher vibrational people, opportunities, and places. 3333 is also a number you want to look up. So that's what I have for you, option seven. If you like that reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But we're moving on to option eight. Eight, last but not least, eight, infinity symbol, right? Abundance, what's up, eight? Are some of you guys life path number eight? Let's see, if you are, this is specifically for you, but you don't have to. Hold on, you guys, they just told me to look up something for you, real quick. Hold on, we don't even know what your dragon is yet, but they're saying to look that up. So, the, some of you guys may or may not be life half number eights, but if you are, this is so much. Hold on. They're saying, but if you are, this is definitely for you. There's so much energy coming through you guys. 
Okay. So people uh, on a eight life path are typically assertive, responsible, and determined. An eight life path comes with great advantages in business. Whoa, okay. So there's a lot more. Now listen to this. I'm just reading what shows that ambitious life path eights are very ambitious. Numerologists and authors of You Are Cosmic Code, Catherine Kerhart tells BMG. So you guys might want to read up what different people have to say about eight life path. The eight number life path. Natural leadership skills. You're very ambitious and goal oriented. Wow, natural and prolific leaders. Excellent management skills. Good understanding, managing money, trustworthiness, compl uh -huh. completing goals, competence, leadership. So you guys are wanting to learn more about the number eight and its energy. Okay? The number eight and its energy. All right, let's see. What are your dragons? What are your dragon guides? Yellow ray dragon. Expansion, manifestation, illumination. Look at how beautiful that is. It's yellow gold. Yellow, gold, and white. That's so high. High. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They just said high. Height. Now they're saying height. Something that's very far above. Christ consciousness is what they're saying. They're showing me different levels, like different levels of heaven different dimensions so this is a very very high dragon yellow ray dragon for you okay yellow gold ray dragon yellow gold white light is coming through strong hmm so expansion manifestation illumination whoa that is like the, the second time that has happened and the first time that that happened it was a strong message so that's powerful energy when that happens okay so you guys are an intense pal oh so now we have silver dragon so you have this yellow gold dragon now you have the silver dragon with this yellow gold key in its claw look at that third eye chakra indigo so we have silver dragon illuminate your potential with higher light look at that with higher light that's that illumination it's like they gave you the key to this. It's higher light. I feel like this dragon comes before this one. Like this one's like you have to unlock something to get to this dragon. But they're both helping you. They're both your dragon guides. So it says illuminate your potential with higher light. Access untapped resources. You hear that? Expansion, manifestation, illumination. Access untapped resources. Look into your soul see higher possibilities so this is the these dragons are untapped energy that you have yet to come through to come to i'm here and come into meeting with they already know you they're already helping you but there's more that they can give you and more that they can show you and it's kind of like they're wanting to just hand you this key but it's almost like i'm hearing them say but you have to prove that you are worthy like you have to be ready so they want to give you this key to higher wisdom and higher knowledge, to this higher expansion, manifestation skills. I'm hearing manifestation skills on fleek, like superpower. Like someone who's able to manifest just at a drop of a dime. This illuminated path, more illumination, more enlightenment. But they're saying you need to look into your soul. It's like we can only do so much, you have to do the other half. So see higher possibilities. Meditate and pray more. Access those untapped resources through meditation, rest, prayer. I'm hearing writing things down too. Nature. So you guys have the moon and the sun, masculine and feminine energy. You have yellow, gold, and silver. And white. White, silver, yellow, gold. And you have this indigo energy coming through here, which is your third eye chakra, meaning that they're trying to give you this. They're trying to expand you, give you this illumination, show you something I'm forgetting what that chakra is that's above the crown chakra, but there's one that's above the crown chakra that they want you to look up. Okay, let's see what else. Whoa, so look, you have a dragon on this card. Look at that. 
It looks like it's white and, and gold or white and yellow and it's protecting her. Look at that, it's protecting her. It even looks like it has some silver in it, some gray. So this is restore, it's resting. Time out for you, nature, shamanic signs. Hmm, shamanic signs. So you guys might be into um, looking about, looking up sh um, shamanism, like different things, techniques. I'm hearing drumming, ancient drumming. Time out for yourself, nature. You guys need to spend time by yourself out in nature, of course, safely, right? Let people know where you are. But she's resting out in nature. Working with the, with the elements could be helpful for you, even in your own space. Like maybe sleeping with high vibrational frequency music going on or elemental music, like like maybe even like birds chirping or something like that. Take some time out for you. Look at how those colors are blending in. And that dragon is like protecting her. It has her it like kind of wrapped up with it. So these are definitely your guides. So you have three dragons here. Three dragons, you guys. What else? Elders. Look at that elephant in the wheel. You have this caduceus in its in its trunk. Look at that. I never noticed that until now. That's beautiful. Look at that. This is definitely ancient. Like pre, um, it, there it, it's like they're showing me, um, like mammoth. Like it's like they're showing me animals that existed before that were extinct. Things that are old, things that are ancient, things that may have even came before then. Predated something that was here before us. This is spiritual mentoring. Mm hmm. Equality, stability, wisdom, experience, counsels. So they're giving you knowledge. We have this elder, this mentor here. They're trying to teach you. They're trying to give you this mentor. You have three dragons here and this elephant. Elephant for me is about overcoming obstacles, right? Overcoming obstacles. Overcoming some type of obstacle to get this key. Enlightenment, wisdom, knowledge. They're, it's almost like they're holding, they're the gatekeepers. Three dragons and this elephant and this whale. They're the gatekeepers. And they're watching you. It's like they're teaching you. It's making me think of Harry Potter with all those teachers. How they all knew something about his, his journey. They were all there to kind of teach you to help you in different areas of your life. But there was so much that you had to do on your own. So much that you had to achieve and learn on your own. Before you could gain different keys, different gifts. To, to open new doors. To open new pathways they wanted to make sure that you are ready and that's what they're saying with this they want to make sure that you're ready to expand more they're wanting to know if you're ready to gain higher and deeper insight wisdom knowledge higher manifestation skills will you use it in the right way will you use it for your highest good will you receive the knowledge and wisdom that they're trying to give you from these elders and the ancestors it's all spiritual knowledge and wisdom being given to you. Are you going to take the knowledge and advice from these councils of light, the council of light beings, these elders, ascended masters? So it's they're testing you. It's almost like they're trying to see if you will take this necessary time to rest, to relax, to restore yourself. So that you can receive this untapped wisdom. Receive these, these gifts that they have to give you. Will you take better care? It's like, will you take care of yourself? How will we know if you'll be able to take care of the, what we're going to give you if you can't take care of yourself? It's a lot of healing here. They could potentially be trying to groom you. I'm hearing groom. They're trying to groom you for leadership and power. They're trying to groom you to be an elder, a mentor, a wise ancestor. One that they can trust for other souls to go to for guidance, for protection, for wisdom, for healing. So a lot of you could hold some type of spiritual power gift. Could be tapped in very strongly right now. You could even for some of you, you could work with herbs, something with healing with herbs. Or you could be psychics, mediums. 
um, healers of some sort, or you're just supposed to be in some type of leadership role, some type of powerful position in life. And they're just, they're giving you these tests to make sure that you're ready to prepare you for it. And they're with you, guiding you, helping you, nurturing you. They're saying you're never alone. They're always with you. They care about your stability, your mental, emotional, and physical stability. So they're saying there's a higher potential for you. There are higher possibilities for you. They're going to grant you stronger manifestation skills. They're going to help you to expand. But first, they're saying we need to make sure that you are well nurtured, rested, well, healing, that you're taking time out for you. How can you pour into others' cups if you're not pouring into yourself? It always comes back to that. So this golden key, this silver dragon is holding. And it's like, I'm ready to give this to you when the time is right. Like I told another pal, I kept getting gum, um, karate kid, grasshopper, like that, like you're the student and there's this elder here. So these guides are definitely teachers. They're, they're, your ma they're kind of like masters. They're, they're here to help you, to try to teach you and, and to nurture you and to show you the way. Okay? And they're saying that these, these guides, there are dragons and this elephant and this whale in other realms, but they could be playing out. They could show their energy in a totally different way here in the 3D. They could even push mentors and, and people, helpful people and, and, and guides along your path, along your journey to kind of push you along the path in a helpful way. It's like they're trying to do what they can do. So it's almost like you'll meet someone in, at the right time, the right place, and they give you the right guidance you need or the right knowledge or wisdom. Support. They're putting the right souls in your pathway. And what's crazy is they're almost saying, oh yeah, 46, 46. You guys want to look at 46, 46. What does that mean spiritually? But they're also saying that, they're showing me that like you, this is going to sound really creepy, but it's almost like angels in disguise. They're saying you can meet an angel in disguise. So you can meet someone that you think you presume is a human, but isn't a human at all. It's like, um, like an angel or a guy shape-shifted into a human to kind of give you a message. I know that sounds so far-fetched and it sounds woo-woo, but it's true. But there have been um, angels that have came out of nowhere to help people. And they're saying that you have that help. You have that. You're not alone. You have a lot of animal guides, spirit guides around you and ancestors around you and angels around you. You guys have a big team, spiritual team. And they want you to know that. But it's very important that you restore yourself. Recharge. They're showing me a Tesla at a charging station. You need to recharge in order to tap into this wisdom and guidance in, the, in this higher light that they're trying to give you. It's illumination. Illuminate your potential with higher light. Illumination, expansion, manifestation. In order to have this knowledge and wisdom, this stability, this experience, to gain the, this experience with the spiritual mentoring, you have to rest. You have to take time out for you. You need to restore your energy. You need to spend time in nature. You need to pay attention to shamanic signs. So what are they trying to say to you? Abundance is your birthright. Boom. Manifestation. They're trying to help you to manifest more abundance into your life, whether that's money, love, soul, family, support, whatever it is. They're trying to help you to manifest more of it. So they're saying abundance is your birthright. Don't you forget it. Your birthright. Something about being nurtured like a baby. Abundance is your right. It's yours. It's not far away from you. It's not in the distance. It's right now. And they want you to live that way. Be sure of yourself. Know that you are not alone. You are divinely protected. It's like they really watch over you. These, these dragon guides really, they keep showing me this card. It's like they're, they nurture you. They protect you because this one's looking like a defender. Like it's protecting you. Giving you light. And this one's nurturing you and, and kind of like cradling you. And this one is like waiting to give you this key. Like I'll give you the key when you're ready. Like 
it's like watching over you they're watching over you and helping you and then you have this ancestors that's that's waiting here ready it's kind of like i'm ready to give you this healing i'm ready to give you this communication this knowledge family overcoming obstacles they're ready it's like we're, we're just watching over you it's like they're encircling you like this like you're here in the middle and they're all around you guiding you and they're like hey abundance is your right you will have and more than enough i'm hearing east west south north the elements the direction guides they're with you every step of the way with you every every way you turn they're with you protecting you so you need to know that you are nurturing you're protecting you're never alone you need to nurture yourself more and i'm hearing that's so important that you do this okay so that's what I have for you guys. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I thank you for tuning in, and I'm sending you so much love. Have a good one.